Big Bang. That was the uh, chair. We're good? Are we on? Yes. Okay, welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting of November 29th, 2018. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Okay, we have to conduct the property tax classification hearing. Make a motion. So I uh, move to open the FY19 property tax classification hearing. Step down second. The Men and Board of Selectmen will hold a public hearing on property tax classification Thursday, November 29th, 2018 at 5 p.m. in the Upper Town Hall meeting room. There will be several policy decisions, decision alternatives discussed by those present before selectmen determine the guidelines to be established for allocating the percentage of the tax burden for residential, commercial, industrial, and personal property. Interested taxpayers may present written testimony by 4 p.m. On, on November 29, 2018 to the selectmen's office. Oral testimony may be given at the hearing but will be limited to three minutes per taxpayer. Information on classification may be obtained from the assessor's office in the town hall. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Well, as you said, this is the annual tax classification hearing, uh, which will end up in asking us to uh, have you vote on three items. Um, one is whether to have a single tax rate or a dual tax rate. The other is a residential exemption that we'll explain, and the third is a small commercial exemption that we'll explain. Um, basically, to tell you where we are, you have the numbers before you, but for those listening, um, the actual tax levy, the amount raised through taxes for fiscal 2019, which is the current year, is $15,201,586. To that, you add all the debt exclusion costs for fiscal 19, uh, which total a million forty nine thousand three hundred sixty one for a total levy that is the amount to be raised for property taxes of sixteen million two hundred fifty thousand nine hundred forty seven just if you look at the bottom of your sheet you'll see a listing of what makes up that debt exclusions um, the land purchase for Fino land and the fire station clough renovation the Misco Hill green repair the library purchase and renovation a highway truck and police station and the total cost of the debt exclusions is $1.13 per thousand dollars of value. Um, new growth revenue for this fiscal year, that is properties that were not previously taxed, came to is coming to $361,737. The taxable value of the town rose from $906,055,490 in fiscal 18 by $61,352,340 to $967,407,830 this year. Uh, so a good healthy rise in the value of the, the town's property. That breaks down to these percentages. Residential is 87, and I'll round that off to 0.8%. Uh, in assessor speak, it's 87.7666%. Commercial property is 6.2 or 6.2248%. Industrial is 0.3903%. And personal property is 5.6183%. If you have one tax rate, it translates to $16.79 for all classes of property per thousand dollars of value. Uh, that's compared to the, uh, the fiscal 18 rate of 1696. So the rate is dropping. Corresponding with that, though, values are rising. The average single family home in Menden is now worth $405,400, an approximate 5% increase from fiscal year 18 valuations. It's important to read that. Okay. Uh, we also have. Uh, $8,169.54 in excess levy capacity. That is money the town could have taxed people but chose not to. Well, uh, it also equals less than one cent on the tax rate and thus could not be so used. So you could not use that rate. Right. Um, but we still have that uh, excess levy available. Mm -hmm. um, again, so the average uh, valuation of a residential home was 5%. 
showing the uh, economy is still on the rebound and values are rising. Just coincidentally, uh, knowing what Milford's values went up, Milford's single families also went up about the same. So the area is, is holding. <coughs> the overall townwide annual revaluation uh, was an approximate 5% increase on residential properties and 1.5% for commercial property. Uh, we have some examples here of the difference. A home that last year was valued at 300,000 is now valued at 315. And it's taxes when you add in the uh, CPA factor uh, arising from 5189.76 and to 5397.15 or an increase of $207.39. A $400,000 home last year would have paid uh, 69.36.64. Now that home is worth 420,000 and they'll be paying an increase of 276. 34 or $7,212.98. Uh, if you go to the next sheet, we ran some quick calculations. If you did a dual rate, um, at 150% shift, um, you would have a residential, um, let me just make sure I'm reading it right, a residential tax rate of $15.62 and a commercial industrial personal property rate of $25.18. Um, if you did a 110% shift, um, you'd have a $16.56 residential rate in 1847 commercial rate and it's just a bare 101% shift, a residential rate of $16.77 and a commercial rate of $16.96. And that's the fir first vote we're asking you to look at is uh, whether to have a single rate of 1679 or a dual rate. Okay. You want to make that motion now, Mark? Or? We have to you close the hearing first. first. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. We have to move. Okay. Okay. The, the second thing we're asking you to look at is the residential exemption. Um, typically, this is offered in only a handful of towns primarily uh, vacation or seacoast uh, homes that shifts the burden uh, from owners of moderately valued residential properties to the owners of vacation homes, higher valued homes and residential properties not occupied as the owner. Uh, and in the past, you guys have traditionally uh, voted against that. There's also a small commercial exemption that would um, create larger commercial businesses to uh, subsidize the taxes of smaller ones. Traditionally, you guys have voted against that. In, in reality, um, it benefits the owner of small businesses, and in most cases, that's the landlord, not the actual business. So traditionally, you, your board has voted for one rate, no on the residential exemption, and no on the commercial exemption. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, <clears throat> I don't, Mark. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think so. Okay. This year. So we'd be looking for three motions. Then one on the uh, single rate. And the other two are moving not to accept residential. And exemption. then not to accept residential and not to accept commercial exemption. <coughs> okay. We didn't get any letters or uh, written testimony, right? Nothing. Okay. So what you're doing is voting to <coughs> select a factor. Mm -hmm. Close the meeting. Um, yeah, I just want to make one comment. I sure. just want to uh, thank all you guys um, for the hard work you guys have done. <coughs> it's uh, I've heard nothing but positive results um, and uh, positive news about how hard this board's been working so I just really appreciate it thank you. Um, thank you. and you know it's nice to see the rate dropping um, although the uh, property values are increasing we have no control over the increase in the property values but we uh, we can we can control the tax rate being lowered so um, it goes with hard work um, I just want to remind people that are listening out there it goes with a lot of hard work from uh, from many boards and committees, and certainly the assessors, the selectmen, the FinCom, et cetera. And, uh, you know, from my, my standpoint, Mark, I just obviously want to keep up the hard work on that. And 
make sure that we try to keep taxes in check. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Uh, you ask anything to say? No, no I'm okay. good. So uh, let's see, I move to close the uh, FY19 property tax classification hearing. Step down, second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Um, let's see, I move to adopt a single tax rate for the town of Menden fiscal year 2019. Step down, second. All in f uh, further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and then I think that I could probably lump both of these together, or do I need to separate them? Should motion. be two motions or one on the. Each one is a motion. Should be two motions. Okay, um, so I move to not accept uh, the residential exemption shift. Um, make sure I'm just saying this right. Uh, I could probably just read this thing, right? So I move not to accept the residential exemption shift the tax burden within the residential class from owners to moderately valued residential properties to owners of vacation homes, higher valued homes, and residential properties not occupied by the owner of such apartments and vacant land. Step down, second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't think you need to, I think you just say the one thing, right? You move not to accept the small commercial exemption. Yeah, so I move not to accept the small commercial exemption. Step down second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's it. Thank you, folks. Are you closing the hearing? The hearing was already closed. We already closed the hearing. Let me know when the camera is off. Um, What's that? I'd just like to know when it's, we're not being televised. <laughs> oh, we're still, oh, okay, we're still. okay. Um, uh, I move to adjourn. Step down second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.